Hello and welcome to another jailbreak video. And in this video I will show you how to jailbreak the new iOS 11.2.6. Now, um, what you do is simply start your Safari browser. And go to this address pangu11.mobile and here they will tell you how it works um, they will tell you that you can't install Cydia on a device that has not been jailbroken but you can of course install apps that Apple has approved so pangu simply hide hid the jailbreak inside of approved applications so the result is that you got an application that you can install that has been approved by Apple and when you start this application, then the jailbreak and the installation of Cydia will start in the background. So simply go to pangu11.mobile and scroll to the bottom and click this icon here at the bottom. Uh, now, when you click this link here, you should be taken directly to a jailbreak, jailbreak injected app. Um, sometimes you get forwarded to other sites and service and crap like that. Uh, they got nothing to do with the jailbreak. When you click this link, you should be taken directly to a jailbreak injected app. If you don't come directly to a jailbreak injected app, simply go back and try again. So now we're going to click this link. And nope, got some other crap that we, want, that we don't want, so we try it again. Nope, same crap, so we try it again. And more crap. Let's just start over. I don't know why it's annoying like that. Um, Usually it takes you to a jailbreak injected app right away. Sorry about that. Um, sometimes you need to try a few times for some stupid reason. There we go. Quite annoying. Now, um, this is a, uh, an Apple approved app that has been injected with code for the jailbreak and uh, Cydia. So, um, when you have downloaded this app, you're simply going to start it up. And when you start this app, the jailbreak and installation of Cydia will start in the background. Uh, so you need to download the app, start it up, and keep it running for about 30 seconds or so. So the jailbreak has uh, time to uh, do its stuff, do its thing. Um, usually you're taken to a jailbreak injected app right away. You click that link earlier. But, uh, for some reason it forwards you some other crap from time to time. Um, like I said, if you're not taken directly to a jailbreak injected app, then simply go back and try again. And now uh, these jailbreak injected apps um, sometimes gets patched, um, which means that they no longer work, unfortunately. So if you download an, a jailbreak injected app and you start it up and keep it running for about 30 seconds, and then reboot your phone or iPad and the jailbreak didn't work then it means that that app has been patched and you need to try another app but uh, all of the apps are of course 100 percent free uh, um, no service or any crap like that earlier uh, no paid apps nothing nothing but 100 percent free apps so you have nothing to lose. 
And usually these apps also work uh, right away on first try. But um, like I said, sometimes they do get patched and then you simply need to try another app. So it, it's a bit of a hassle, but it's well worth it in the end. And it should be done very soon now. Uh, now this jailbreak is a fully untethered jailbreak uh, with Cydia and working substrates. Uh, and that it is fully untethered means that uh, if your phone runs out of battery or if you restart your device or uh, also then... Uh, the jailbreak uh, will be there fully functional and Cydia will also function fully. So you like, unlike the semi-tethered and such, uh, with those you have to re-jailbreak every time you start your device. You don't have to do this because this is a fully untethered jailbreak. So you can restart your device anytime you want. And if the phone runs out of battery, then simply charge your phone and start it up and everything will be working right out of the box. Now, we're going to keep this app running for about 30 seconds. And now, um, right now, the jailbreak is working in the background. And... Um, after 30 seconds or so have passed, we are going to restart our devices and hopefully the jailbreak will finish and Cydia will be installed. I think that should do it. Now we just hold the power button down. And slide power off. And this uh, jailbreak works with any iOS 11.2.6 device and uh, any version of iOS 11. Point, uh, uh, sorry, any version of iOS 11 for that matter. And now we're going to start up our device. Uh, we should see pretty soon now if jailbreak worked or if the app has been, has been patched and we need to try another. Uh, like I said, usually the apps works right away, but uh, sometimes they get patched. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's the Pangu symbol. Kind of hard to see, but anyway, that's a good sign that the jailbreak worked. So it's just finishing off now, uh, jailbreak and installation of Cydia. There you can see. And now we should have Cydia on iOS 11.2.6. Now, if you like this video, I would be very happy if you commented, rated, shared it, subscribe, um, whatever. Uh, thank you for watching and enjoy your new jailbroken iOS 11.2.6 device.